So hello there, welcome to stage eight of the Mosquito. We are nearly there. Uh, we have only one job today, which is to apply the decals. Um, it sounds easy, it's gonna be quite lengthy. Uh, now the format of this is I'm going to be showing you how I do decals and my thoughts on decals. Now, my thoughts and processes may differ from everybody else. Uh, from anybody else, sorry, not everybody else. Um, it's my way of doing them and I quite like it. Um, and like most things, um, it's all about what works well for you. So let's see how I get on. So um, the first thing we are going to need, quite obviously, in no particular order actually, we're going to need our model which has been uh, gloss coated. Um, I had a few issues with this, um, so it's not quite as smooth as I want it to be and there's a few issues on the bottom, but do you know what, I'm going to go with that. This is going to be my first completed YouTube model, um, so this is going to be my benchmark. Now. I have placed it on one of these groovy stands. Um, you don't have to use a stand. You know, you could use paint pots, anything to stand it up. Um, I find this easier to work with. Uh, the next thing you're gonna need, and I think this is the very first thing after the model, and that's kitchen roll. And I like to keep the roll handy, especially when we're dealing with liquids. Now, what first thing I will do is I will get my uh, some kind of cleaner um, I use thinners because it's alcohol based and I'll just lob a load on the desk a little bit on a, on a piece of uh, kitchen roll and I just primarily I want to pick up any dust or dirt if I got any dust or dirt if there's any pieces uh, remember that I'm a smoker so there's likely to have pieces on there um, so we've just got that as clean as we can. We don't need it sterile um, As you see it's picked up quite a lot of the uh, the dirt, but um, it's the pieces that we're after um, The next thing I like to do is I'll have two more pieces and What I will do is I will get I mean my kitchen roll is quite large so I will just cut it into uh, fold it into four and then I'll just cut these ends off and then that gives me four pieces of small kitchen roll just handy if I need them um, the next thing you are going to need this is a brand new blade um, it doesn't matter when I last change my blade um, I will pop a new blade in when I'm doing decals the sharper your blade the more control you have what you do not want is when you're cutting let me show you if I was to cut that decal out and I haven't done all the others around it and I'm carefully cutting around with my blunt blade oh and I've just sliced all the way through there um, so always make sure you've got a sharp blade obviously you're going to need your decal sheet now what I'm going to do today is I'm going to apply these two decals on the wings in full uh, not slowed down motion um, and then I'll do the rest. We'll do them speeded up with some fancy music, but I want to just test out some solution. Well, I say test out, I've already used them. Obviously you're going to need your instructions, so make sure you've got the correct stage. Um, sometimes I'll photocopy these. And the reason I like to photocopy these is that I can do damage to these and uh, it doesn't affect the original instructions. Um, so, like I say, in no particular order, you want some kind of decal pot now I use this I think this comes from trumpeter this is very very useful you pop your water in there you put your decals in and when they're ready you just pull this tray up 
and it just pulls them out of the water for you um, but if you don't have um, anything like this uh, a plate or some trays will work well um, if you're not using a tray like this I like to use um, two plates one with water and then what you can do is you can pop them into the water and then pop them onto there to, to you know so you've got to I also like a plate of some description and um, what I like to do is I like to do my decals in stages um, so I'll cut four or five decals off I'll place them here the dry ones in there and then I can just go um, bum 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 um, simple as that you will need uh, some kind of brush and tweezers to help you manipulate the uh, the decal um, I don't like using pointy tweezers a lot of people do I will use them they're not my preferred one I prefer these blunt ones but there are situations where that won't do the job the pointy ones will I've also got two small uh, two one large one small brush and they can be quite useful these actually are very very cheap this came from a paint by number set and I found it works very well every now and again these bristles are a bit long so I might just cut those bristles back a little bit um, I'm sorry for the massive ingredient list you will need cocktail sticks um, mainly in place of the tweezers the, these are quite useful for pointy and removing moving sorry and you will need cotton buds cotton buds are extremely useful um, I'll go through all of this but you'll apply the decal then what you'll do is you'll push the water out from the middle and then I think lastly you will need decal solution now I have for a very long time been using this most modelers seem to go with this now I've had to number these because the names confuse me you've got micro set which is what you use for putting the decals on micro set for softening the decals to conform to regular surfaces why do they call them set and sol surely set is what you'd put on afterwards um, so I've let's say I've put numbers on now I've been using these for a long long time and these work very well um, I have recently bought these which I have used once and I think they're actually okay but I, I really need to use them many many more times so you've got ultimate products decal set and solution you've got normal you've got strong you've got extra strong now in answer to the question which one do you use on your decals um, the actual answer is um, you've just got to get experience with them <coughs> if you use normal when the decals quite strong it's not going to have an awful lot of effect um, if you use the extra strong when you needed um, weak it's going to kill the decal um, so after a while you learn that um, which one you use so let's say I've used them once and I used them on FX and strong seems to have done the job but I will go through that more in detail as we use them right so we are going to set our water up now you will have people tell you you need this you need that you need to put this into the solution I am going to use just basic water um, it works well for me I am hoping in the in the future to invest in a uh, coffee cup warmer so that I can use warm water which I believe will get better results but for today I'm just going to use basic water now what I do with this if you're using a plate just pop a little tiny bit of water one thing that annoys me bugs me not it's not a strong feeling um, people seem to think that their decals are deep sea divers um, they plunge their their decals into a big thick um, big heavy you know a lot of water and there it is swimming drowning and then they're fishing it out with tweezers and it's flying all over the place you don't actually need to do that all you need to do 
is release you need to release the decal from the paper and you just do that by getting it damp um, so for that reason you only pop a little bit in the bottom I'm not going to put any in here um, because um, I'm not going to use these um, but I'm going to pop a little bit of water onto here and what I'm looking to do is just bring the level of water so that it just meets the tray so let's so that's not quite enough can you see there where it's starting to change sort of color um, where the level of water is, is meeting so there we go look it's just got a small level of water just above the tray and then when we lift this up it comes out of the water altogether that is exactly perfect maybe a touch more now obviously what's going to happen as we do our decals uh, the water will obviously soak into into the uh, um, into the paper so next thing you want to do is plan out the decals that you're going to do next um, I would perhaps work on one wing or two wings depending on how many decals then maybe work on the the upper fuselage um, and then maybe look at the sides do the sides and then do the bottom and then any other little fiddly bits and then just work your way around don't try to tackle all of the decals in one go however oh. excuse me however because we are um, testing out s solutions and I'm showing you how I do my decals we're work working just with two decals and by coincidence decal number one is the same decal on the top of the wings so that will give us a good uh, comparison so what I need to do now is carefully it, you might want to use a steel ruler um, but I'm confident with my freehand um, cutting so we want to just cut the decal out now one thing again I don't know if I used to do this because that's what I've always done these decals will come with a number on them cut that away the reason for that is you're going to pop this into the water and then that number one is also a separate decal and that's going to come off that film and suddenly you've got a little number and it's going to be floating around and you're going to end up picking that number up at some point and then you're going to be saying why is there a number six on my tire or why is there a number 13 on on my uh, fuselage um, right so get your pen uh, pen get your brush ready get all your equipment ready a lot of this has gone off camera I'm afraid um, so I've got my cocktail sticks cotton buds tweezers pe uh, things lined up and then what I also do um, I bought these because it helps you see they're not going to spill over so what I do is I remove I know you can't see this place your decal solution somewhere um, I because I number these I, I turn the number in front of me I then take the lid off and I place it behind so they're ready okay and the same I mean I'm I would use one or the other normally but today I'm showing you um, how I apply these and remember which one is which normal strong extra strong so I think these lids are all exactly the same so it doesn't matter if you get them muddled up right so the first thing we're going to do is oh sorry once you've done your decals remember your little plate that you've made and that way it just keeps them away from the table so we've got our decals before we apply them we're going to have a little rough look at where they're going to go so what we want to do is maybe have a think of the placement so you see that decal there is going to go over that panel line 
but it's going to touch that panel line there. So that roughly translates to about, there's a circle there, and then there's a line. So we want to cover the end of that line up. So it's going to go roughly there. So we've got an idea of where our decal is going to go. Um, now, how precise you want to be with these is up to you. Now, this one's going to be a slight issue because, in fact, this one is as well. We have a raised area there. So that's something to think about. Um, so we know roughly where we're going to place them. If this one, if we place it a couple of millimetres off, um, remember that this one is supposed to go on the other side. We'll have to place this one a couple of millimetres off. Um, but it's really not, it doesn't have to be down to the correct millimetre. So, like I say, it does concern me that people do like to send their decals on some kind of deep seed bath. You don't need to do that so with a couple of cocktail sticks what we're going to do and I've got a bit in there I've just cleaned my desk and there we've got bits right so there's just a tiny layer of water there all we need to do pop our decal in make sure the whole decal gets wet and then we can take it out of the bath okay we're wetting the paper not the decal okay it doesn't need to sit in there and we give that maybe 30 seconds however long we need and when we think it's ready which this won't be now we can pick it up with the tweezers we can just give it a little turn and that's not nearly ready so i'll come back in a second because i do need to make a cut anyway okay sorry about the little break um i had a cat running around the table so we can always pop that back in the water for a few seconds if we want to. But I really don't want that swimming. And then we'll just keep we'll just keep that soaking. It's really not been soaking long. I took a break of about 20, 30 seconds. Right. That is starting to move. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give it another another little soak. Can you see how the um the paper curled up? Uh, when I, we put it in but it's straightened again okay so that's ready so and the way you know it's ready is if you move it on the paper can you see it's just starting to move so that's all good right so we will do this first one traditional method uh, and we'll do the other side we'll do this side traditional and then we'll do the other side, the new method. So what we need to do is get some micro set, dip our brush in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna paint it all over the area where we're gonna go, and that's gonna help us apply the decal. Then we pick the decal out, and then we just slide that off the paper. There's gonna be discussions about using fingers, um, et cetera, et cetera. I really don't care. Um, this is how I'm doing it and I'm going to use more micro set if I need to and what I want to do is using my instructions I want to slide that into place using whatever method of placement is my preferred method so I want that it's a little bit trickier to see now that there's lots of uh, There we go. So I've got some reference points and I'm just going to need a piece of uh, kitchen roll now. And I just want to mop up some of the excess from around the decal, not on the decal. Just going to help me see those details a bit better. And I think, I think that's fine. I'm happy with that. And that is always the main question. Are you happy? So with my kitchen roll, I'm going to give a very slight dab just to get most of the excess off. Then I'm going to get my, my cotton bud and I'm going to roll that out until we've got everything on it. 
and when we can push it with our, our cotton bud basically we're trying to get rid of all the water that's underneath okay now when we can rub our kitchen roll on it and there's no water coming out from the decal and it's not moving we know that's on okay okay so that's our decal applied now we have a few problems with that can you see there where it's gone over a bump it looks quite ugly um, so we need to apply a softening solution um, there are many on the market I own a bottle of Humbrol um, decal fix um, I own like I say I own the two that you're going to see today but the one I'm going to use today is Microsol now if you have never used Microsol before what oops that moved that was interesting wasn't it right so I'm still happy with that okay I should be using it cotton bud now but right there we go so what I'm about to do now if you're anything like me it's going to scare the hell out of you but do not panic so I've dried my brush for the micro set on it and I'm going to dip it into the micro sole and I am going to paint that decal with the micro sole all over like so just go a little bit over the decal okay now if I wasn't on a flat surface some of that will run <coughs> and it will pull which is what your kitchen rolls for you'll just dab it don't touch the decal now I it is extremely important do not touch that decal until that micro sole has dried okay it'll go wrinkly you'll you'll think I've ruined my model um, I don't I'm to try and pull a close one in um, can you see it's starting to go a little bit wrinkly around the edges don't panic um, but what we want to do now is we want to leave that until it's dry we then have a look to see if it's conformed to the uh, irregularities of the, of the wing if it hasn't we want to apply another one but the most important rule here guys do not touch that decal okay um, if you touch that decal you could split the decal and uh, you will ruin it um, right so while we're waiting for that to dry I'm gonna do my sorry bear with me a sec sorry my apologies just as I'm filming I've got cats that have decided to run around the craft room um, so as you can see I've got my second decal in there and that's going in and same as before we pop that in we make sure all of the decal gets damp wet and then we can pull that up and then that will naturally straighten itself and then we can always pop it back in the bath in a, in a bit um, just check it on this can you see how that's scarily gone wrinkly it's actually not the worst one I've seen the first one I did it went super wrinkly and I almost cried um, but yeah sorry bear with me a sec so I do apologize I um, I have this wonderful craft desk um, which is inadvertently an absolutely wonderful playground uh, for cats um, right so how long has that been soaking for let me just move the model out of the way just so I can get to the decal whoops uh, that's not quite ready that's only been about 30 seconds to a minute but I can give it another little pop it in the bath again make sure it's wet all over but you did you see that from the last one it still applied absolutely fine as long as you've got enough moisture underneath the decal um, it will be fine um, so we're going to just give that a little bit longer so the process that we're going to use for this is um, we will um, apply the decal this time we'll just use water just to get the decal onto the aircraft 
and then we will apply the set and solutions. Now, what I'm going to do is had a little feel uh, of the decal. Now, normally what we will do is if we don't know the decal, um, we would use the normal solution. And then if that doesn't work, we'll use the, the next one up. And if that doesn't work, come on, not you and all. Sorry, Shadow's at it now. Um, so we will keep using different solutions until we get to the one that we want. Um, now, as I say, I've only ever used these solutions once and uh, that was on Airfix. And these particular decals feel much thicker. So I'm gonna go straight in with strong. Right, that's moving on the paper quite nicely. So what we're gonna do, just give our brush a little wipe um, just to get most of that solution off and a little bit of water where are we go and we go on there aren't we so we just get the surface damp doesn't have to be soaking wet and then we get our decal we can slide that off now what we're doing here now is we're looking at the position of the previous one and I can see I've got that way 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 too far over so we'll just slide that along and it's almost too late there we go I was a little bit worried there so our reference point is there so that I'm happy with right so quick dab just to get the excess off the off the plane we're not getting the excess from the decal and does that look okay I think it does so I'll just move my camera across so now this one has discovered that there's some lumps on the aeroplane now this is the this is why we need that gloss surface to be perfect which mine is not I think I have actually got that absolutely identical. Okay, we just give that a rub until we're happy with it. Okay, now, as I said before, these decals feel thicker than the Airfix ones, and the Airfix did need. Um, um, did need a st strong solution so I'm going to pretend that I'm using normal so we put pop some normal on we paint it over we let it dry and then after it's dried we see that it's not properly conformed so what we'll do is we'll give it a second application with strong and then we'll do that and we'll see if that conforms um, because I these are thicker I'm just going to go straight in with an application of strong. She's back again. I tapped her on the bum and threw her across the hole and she's back. But I need to finish this. So we're going to pop this strong and the same as before. We need to um, just go over the edge of the decal, make sure we get it all. And then just like the microsole, we leave that to set. So I'll cut the camera and then we'll come back when they're both dry. <coughs> Sorry, one thing while it's drying, um, a couple of things I wanted to, I'm really tempted to put a bit more on there, but I'm not going to. Um, right, so when I applied this decal, the micro set and micro sole, I put a bit of micro set onto the surface of the plane, then I put the decal on, then I put micro sole. With this one I applied with water, um, like I say, I've only used it the once. If anyone wants to correct me, they can. I didn't apply micro set onto the plane because what's the point in buying a, a product if you then have to buy another product to make that product work? And I didn't apply normal onto it because if it's going to start softening the solution 
uh, the decal as soon as you put it on. Can you see it's again that's going a bit blinkly and that's what it's getting into the decal. Um, so if you put the way I see it is once you put normal down onto the plane then apply the decal are you going to lose that ability to move the decal around and um, that's why I've applied it with water if anyone can correct me on that um, I will certainly listen to them but this method has worked fine and I do like to use the basis of if it's not broken don't fix it okay I just want to give you a little update it's been about five or ten minutes it's still nowhere near dry yet and you see the microsol it's a little bit wrinkly especially down the bottom um, so I think that's going to need more application see the panel line there is starting to conform but I'm not totally happy with that the ultimate product strong obviously that's not been on so long but that's a lot more wrinkly so that suggests to me it's working a little bit harder um, but I'm not convinced that that's going to work on one application um, but it's, it's not been down as, as long so we'll see how that works out okay so it's been about half an hour um, this one is the uh, ultimate solutions and you can see I've got some really ugly lumps underneath and it's really showing them off but I'm not happy with how the decals conformed um, this one is the microsole you can see it's nice and flat now all those wrinkles have gone but again I'm not happy with how it's conformed um, so I am going to apply another layer in my experience something like a Tamiya might need up to four or five coats um, so I'm just gonna all I'm gonna do is just go over that again and this one probably won't take so long to dry in my experience um, so we just brush around just going a little bit over over the edge and that's absolutely fine now this one again I'm learning about the decal I've never used uh, this on decals we used the strong last time so what we'll do we'll use the extra strong this time now while I was waiting for this to dry last time I did watch a little YouTube video that's actually moved the whole decal by the looks of it um, so what the video has said is that the the normal is normal set and solution and it's about the equivalent of a micro sole uh, so the results we expected were about the same um, the strong is about the equivalent of sol to sol and the extra strong is really just for like really stubborn decals and uh, for things that lots and lots of panel lines um, so as you can see I've just given that a light coat on both it's gone wrinkly again that one hasn't gone wrinkly because it has stuck down but already on the edges I can see that starting to get quite nice um, so all I can do now is let those dry now one thing I'm a little bit concerned about I did just mention it slightly earlier in the video it does say on the uh, ultimate uh, it's a, a chappy called Paul Il in international scale modelers if I remember to I'll put the link to the video in in the description um, but you know me I forget um, he says when you first apply the decal you either apply the decal with water or you use microsol then you put the ultimate solutions on top I disagree with that because why if I'm buying this product to work why should I then have to buy another product in order to make that work however in the video he uses water and he actually uses a water pen which is much better idea than using these brushes um, so what you could do is load up your brush with some solution and then load another brush up with water um, so I would say apply this decal with water then put your ultimate solutions on top if you're using microset microsol apply it with microset um, I'm actually going to put the lid on this now because that's finished with and the one thing that I haven't done that he said to do is give them a good shake before you use them um, now this one is half dry in the time that I've been talking 
and already I can see it's a little bit better this one's gone really wrinkly um, that's the extra strong gone on there and I'm hoping that um, this one will take less less attempts to do okay so the third layer has dried second layer sorry um, and I'm still not happy with that you see it's not conformed there and this one is not quite conformed it's certainly conformed to all the irregularities I've got on the on the gloss um, but it certainly is starting to work so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a third a third layer to both of these and I am really going to shake them up this time which is what I should have done the first time so the micro sole that goes on there and like I say my experience with Tamiya you might need to do this four or five times this is why I do a nice big batch of, um, of decals and then on the second one we will we did the extra strong last time so we'll go straight in with the extra strong this time and hopefully this should be it um, but what we do next time we put decals on we'll go straight in with the extra strong because we've tested it on this first decal and we know that Tamiya decals can handle extra strong and then obviously what we do I'm only having to do this because um, I've never used this on Tamiya decals so next time I do a scale model aircraft and I do the decals I will know to go straight in with the extra strong so that might cut a layer or two out so guys I'll leave that until that one dries okay so we are ready for the fourth application um, as you can see that's conformed really really nicely to that line there not so well on the corner there uh, the ultimate products excuse the lumps and bumps that is the uh, the varnish underneath so that's conformed really nicely to there and a little bit better there um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it one more application of each if it turns out that that's still not going to conform I'm actually going to cut it with a blade um, but I think this one might give one more now do remember that one of these applications was done with um, uh, strong and the rest was done with extra strong um, so therefore if we did it again went straight in with the extra strong um, it would probably have a slightly better result um, whereas this one is performing exactly as I expected um, the oh this is the this is the sole um, uh, I'm not gonna f I'm just gonna put a little bit near the top I'm really going to focus it down the bottom um, but I did have a scare with the ultimate solutions in that the last application that it did it actually went far more wrinkly um, than, than I expected it went far more wrinkly than the last application um, now I'm used to that on the micro cell um, but this one it did actually scare me um, so this is another application of the extra strong and another all over application by the way I left the last one for about 20 minutes um, again I'm going to focus it in the areas where it needs a little bit of help and I'm confident that this will be the last application that I need but what I will do once it's at the point where I'm happy I will then give it another application um, but the bit that I'm worried about here is just this where this lump is um, and then what I'll do is I will do these two next. in fact actually I'm going to do these two now um, so um, we've got these two um, grids that look quite nice and they go there um, and that's going to be a real serious challenge for it because now you've got the finish with the gloss but also I don't know if you can see you've got all those little rivets there's loads of rivets um, if you actually run your finger over it feels like I've done a terrible job with the gloss but it's actually those rib that all that rivet detail but so much detail there 
it's going to be a serious challenge. Um, so while I'm waiting for those, I'm just going to get on with that one. So my apologies, I did do a little bit of that off camera, I didn't mean to. Um, so we have got, um, these two have gone on with, uh, I've gone straight in with the extra strong and we'll see if that can reduce the number of applications that we've got. Now this is practically dry, this is the micro sole and I'm fairly happy with that, apart from that it's, it's it's not too bad. I think what makes it worse is the fact that these decals have a sheen to them, uh, which is different from the gloss, and it makes them look a bit dodgy. Once you put a flat coat over the top, um, it's a bit better. However, saying that, um, I've done four applications, so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna cut them. I'm just gonna, around the, around the contour, I'm just going to poke little holes with my knife. Okay, it's not made a difference at this point, but I'm then going to apply another solution, another layer of solution. Now let's have a look at this one. Right, I don't think this is fully dry because you see there's a little bit of crinkling on the edge, but the the edge, the the contour there, I'm not 100% happy with it. So at this particular stage. It's actually made no difference. So um, basically, I'm at I'm at the stage where I'm practically happy with them, and once I'm practically happy with them, um, I will then just apply one more layer. Um, this these aren't dry yet. I did. Hopefully, you caught it on the camera um, because of all those rivets underneath. Um, I tried to just show you what it looks like without any decal solution um, and hopefully you got to see just how awful they sit um, they're such thick decals you really really do need decal solution of some description to, to soften those um, but we'll pop this on and this should be these randalls should now be done um, so what I'm going to do um, also, I had a bit of a problem, the decal split. Now, this might make it worse. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with it. I think I've got this to the point where if you know what you're looking for, you'll see it. But I, if you're not looking for it, I don't think you'll see it. Right, I don't know if I shook that or not. So, one last application. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. So that's going on again focusing on the problem areas which is where it's not quite contouring to the lumps and bumps and then we'll leave that and hopefully that will be the last application now whether I've done this right or not I'm not 100% sure um, but hopefully um, this will be fine so this is now had is it four applications that's had the one what I'll do is I'll keep applying that until I'm really happy with the finish. Um, I can see there's a little lump there. Whether that's, but you can already look. You can see it's it's not it's nowhere near perfect, but it is starting to conform a little bit. Right, so I'm going to come back when all of this is dry and I've got these to the point I want them, and I'll tell you how many layers I've put on. And then I'll tell you how we can work that into um, our decaling. 
Okay, so um, I am learning as I do this because I'm using the new solution. Um, that has now had five coats of uh, sol on it, um, microsol, and I'm happy enough with the results. Um, you see, it has pretty much conformed to everything. Um, what I found actually is when it's dry but not set, you can actually push it in with a cotton tip. Be very gentle and only push downwards. Um, I did apply another layer to that and I think I've kind of overdone it. You can see it's gone a bit wrinkly and those wrinkles aren't coming back. But again, you can just kind of push it down. Now, these parts here, they have conformed really, really nice. This is the extra strong. I went straight in with the extra strong. Now again, what I've done is I've gone in with my Q-tip on the third layer and I've just pushed them down. Um, sometimes you get little air bubbles um, and that's gonna be normal. Um, that's not a problem. All we'll do is we'll just get our knife and we'll just touch it with a knife end. We're not cutting it, we're just piercing it. Um, a needle might be better and we'll see how that goes but I think that's going to be absolutely fine um, if there is a problem if you've got any air bubbles we'll just apply another another layer maybe this time just use the normal because um, as you can see overdoing it is is starting to make it crim crinkle so obviously the tip here is that you go in with a solution you know it can handle in this case extra strong but some of these thin decals will probably wreck um, and then go in maybe a couple of layers and then start working it down again um, but this is definitely saving one at least one layer of say that's taken five and that those have taken three might possibly put another one on right so what is going to follow now is I'm going to speed it all up but I'm going to get all of the decals done um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the top layer and the sides and then once I'm fully happy with that I will then flip that over and I'll do the underside decals and there aren't many undersides now because of the amount of time it's going to take me let's see we've got one two three four five six 10 decals on the underside and we've got uh, not so many on the side but um, now the great thing about doing the top and the sides is that um, we can do the top and then we can apply a layer of the set and solution then we can work on the sides do the set and solution then we can do the other side set and solution and it might then be ready on the top once it's ready on the top we can do set and solutions on all of them. We now know it's going to take roughly three layers, probably less on these nice, see there, it's a nice flat surface on that side. So that's probably only going to take one layer. And we'll just keep going. We'll keep judging them until we're happy. Um, now, I'm going to do the underside off camera. And the reason I'm going to do it off camera is um, I've got a little bit of time restraint. Um, so I'm um, today I can do all this but I need to set let this set for 24 hours um, before I can do anything with it I don't have 24 hours I have an hour there here and there um, so what I'll do is I'll just I'll do the bottom um, tomorrow because if I tip this upside down can you see that this is going to go onto the decals so I'll get all the top and the sides done We'll end the video and then in two weeks time we will be ready for the weathering. I haven't decided it. I'll probably put a matte coat over it at some point uh, before we do, uh, sorry, another gloss coat um, before we do the weathering.
Right, so that is all of the decals on. Um, so some I'm really happy with, some I'm not as happy with. Um, so they've gone okay. I've put about two or three layers of uh, decal solution on that. Um, this one, I've got a little decal that's gone on top. I really should have put that on before I started putting the solutions on. But as you can see, it's okay. This one's just got a little bit bumpy because of the uh, gloss varnish. Um, that's gone on really nice. Um, I've just spoke three or four, five decals on that tail plane. I've got one there, one there. We've got the main bit there, and then there's a decal on top of each one. Um, then you've got all the little things like jack points. That's come out a little bit off straight. Um, I haven't done the decals on the. I have done the decals on the bottom. Of course, I have. So you've got a couple there. Um, really, really, most of these are hard to see because it's red writing on on black. I love the nose art. And I'll be honest with you, because of that nose art, if all four of these colour schemes were the same, I would have picked this one because of the nose art. But you've got some like mission markings, and that's rather nice. You've got, but most of these are warnings, like here. Where's that decal gone? That decal's come off. That's come off. I had a decal there, guys, and it's come off. It said about first aid box. Maybe I've just accidentally touched it. Okay, never mind. Um, well, I've got I've got a spare set of decals anyway, so I'll apply that decal. Um, but I definitely had one there, and I don't know where it's gone. It's not that one, is it? No, it's not that one. So there's a decal somewhere, guys. It's gone missing. Um, so yeah, no, I'm really happy with that. It's come out really nice. These are probably my favourites because of the yellow writing on the black. They're quite fiddly. There's probably a few decals that I've missed out. Um, right, so because of my time restraints, um, if I finish this off, I won't get this video out in time. Um, so what I'm going to do is off camera, once this is, I've got to leave this about 24 hours um, before I can do much with it. So what I'm going to do in 24 hours in time to get the video out I will go over the whole lot with a matte varnish uh, sorry another gloss varnish it's got to be another gloss varnish because the next stage is weathering uh, which we will do in the next video now by my calculations we have got two more videos to go so next video will be the weathering and then the last video just before Christmas will be the um, the final details. I'm still waiting for the cockpit masks. Um, I might get a bit desperate and do that myself. Um, but yeah, I've got I've got about three or four weeks before I need to start filming these. Well, three or four weeks from where I am at the moment. Um, but yeah, as I say, next week we'll do some weathering. Um, Basically all I'm going to do is go, I'm going to be panel line and washing it. I'm not going to do any heavy oil streaks and things like that. We'll do maybe little bits, but um, I'm not going to even put much smoke on because it's not going to show. Um, yeah, so we'll get that weather and done next week. Um, so as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, etc. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye bye.